Bless your crush, tell me where you at, your motivation guy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. The one and only Keith Allen, the one who believes in you. The one who is cheering for you to be the best version of yourself each and every day. Do not give up on your dreams, man. Do not give up on the hopes and the desires that you have in your heart, but be special. Do something, you know, to really impact this world, to make it a better place. I'm here today to bring you guys the greatest tips and tricks to help you guys really become like the best Fortnite player you can be. Enjoying the new island? Well, what about the new weapons? Or perhaps you are missing your good old friend, the Scar and the Pump. Well, let me tell you this. You're going to have to get used to the new meta guys quickly because arena points have been reset and the race for the Champions League has now been commenced. So, for players old and new, it's time to break out the new arena mode guide for Chapter 3. You guys ready for this? Well, ladies and gentlemen, get that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. Okay, so the heart of any competitive game is the competitive playlist. This is where any player who is serious about becoming a pro is going to spend days grinding to not only improve their skills, but also get the feeling of going against other highly skilled players. You know, in Fortnite, man, you know, this mode is arena and it is so important for a variety of reasons. For starters, arena is going to dictate, you know, which competitions you're going to be able to compete in as the comp season progresses. You know, most seasons are going to begin with the preseason of around two weeks before the arena points are reset and the race at the top begins. So this season is the start to chapter three and not only have we been able to really gain access to the game much sooner than the last chapter transition but arena points have already been reset and the race has already begun. You know, with triple edit sliding working, it's just way into the mix and plenty of recoil based weapons. You know, Fortnite competitive meta is shining favorably on aiming mechanics. And so if you're interested in becoming an aiming legend, then perhaps you should visit Aim Lab by clicking on the link below. This aiming program works with a variety of different competitive games such as Valorant, Warzone, and yours truly, Fortnite. You know, it just gives you the feedback and statistics that you need to identify your shortcomings and just start working towards perfecting your mechanics. You know, Arena is all about scores, ranks, and bus fares. Unlike the public lobbies where players can really range from highly skilled to like someone noobish, Arena creates different rankings depending on your overall score in Arena. As always, you start in the open league. Here, and I mean like right here, is where the bus fare is essentially non-existent. As you climb through Contender League and eventually towards the Champions League, the bus fare is going to begin to grow and the opponents that you face is going to be around the same skill level as you. Arena is best for when you want to play with the competitive rule set and even experience some of the more unique phenomena such as like Storm Surge and the late game outside of a major competition. This game mode will be perfect for getting you accustomed to this and this is an essential part of becoming a future Fortnite pro. Fortnite competitive meta can be quite different from the meta seen in public lobbies. With Fortnite Chapter 3 finally here, the meta is absolutely fresh and explorative. You know, with many if not most of the original weapons vaulted for the time being, it feels more like a soft reboot of the game that we all know and love. However, despite these changes, there is one thing that always stays the same. That's right ladies and gentlemen, that is the fact that Epic Games is constantly looking for to make ways to really balance the competitive playlist so it focuses more on skill rather than who managed to collect the most broken weapon in the game. Game. Okay, so expect to see certain items come and go. And if you want an example of how items can affect comp, the new shotgun meta is shifting back to double shotting. What is this exactly? Good question. Well, back in the good old days, you know, shotguns had a much faster pullout rate than they did towards the end of chapter two. Because of this, many pro players would pick up a second shotgun and rather than just relying on the weapon's fire rate, they would simply take a shot and instantly pull out the second shotgun to immediately get a second shot in. And so a chapter three double shotting is once again possible, you know, and you can really see itself becoming a viable strategy due to the vaulting of the pump shotgun. Unless Epic decides to nerf this, we would be seeing it in competitive real soon. All right, so everything in Arena revolves around hype, right? Which division that you're able to achieve, you know, what your fellow Fortnite colleague says about you, and what tournaments you're able to participate in. For the best possible reputation that you want to have, like, you need to go above and beyond Champions League and just getting a score as high as possible. So how exactly can you achieve this quickly so that you're all set for the season? For starters, you need to start prioritizing when and where to pull certain tactics and just even which mode to play in. You know, while your first instinct might be just be grinding out solo, you know, there are other alternatives that's gonna help you climb faster. For this, you might consider getting a duo partner since this is gonna split the player population in half, allowing you to get more kills per match. You know, it's just also beneficial because you have somebody watching your back and you can just learn a trick or two from the company. Just keep in mind, man, that you can no longer just shake down opponents during these team playlists. You know, with the unveiling of chapter three, that feature has been removed for the time being. So if you're light on knocking down an opponent for that location, <laughs> you're gonna be out of luck. 
So during open league, there really is no major downside of getting killed. At most, you're gonna have to wait through some loading screens. Now, however, just like unlike later rankings, you're not gonna be penalized and your rank is not gonna drop. Because of this, your best strategy should be to play aggressively so that you can get out of open league as quickly as possible. Eventually though, you wanna hold back a bit. Essentially, like you wanna scale your aggressiveness the higher that you get into the ranks. As the bus fare increases, you wanna start playing smarter and just really pick and choose fights so you can just maximize your income. All right, so once the bus fare increases by a good amount, usually by the edge of contender league you're going to see yourself gaining less points per match and so this is because the bus fare needs to be earned back in order for you to even break even and so if you lose too many matches early then you can see your hype score take a toll and perhaps you might even just really see yourself going down a rank in the process this is why you need to start playing for the end game you know once you get into the champions league you want to have the placement scores just cushioning the bus fare so that you can just earn more points through eliminations later on keep in mind guys this is also how you can see where your current skill level is like if you find Find yourself having a hard time breaking out of a certain division then it usually means that this is as far as your current skill can take you so the solution for this is really just to try to figure out where your flaws are you know through vibe reviewing or even just coaching so you can start working on these shortcomings through creative or coaching eventually you know with enough pushing like i'm telling you right now you should be able to break through and make it to the next division but you got to believe in yourself all right here in competitive you cannot be thinking like a casual player you know there are rules that you need to follow if you want to make it far of course, this is that, you know, survival is not only the goal of competitive, right? In a casual match of Fortnite, especially for players new to the battle royale genre, your first instinct might be to just find a nice hiding spot, <laughs> avoid the storm, and really just try to make it to the top two so you can get that final kill and be crowned the victor. With the reading, you don't want to do that, especially in the later ranks when you need more points to balance out what you spend on, you know, just getting on the bus in the first place. Instead, you need to think competitively as if you were in an actual tournament. You need to think about your strategies for your early game, mid games, and late games. You need to focus, guys, on maxing out your building mats and getting properly equipped so you can survive till the end. As this also means pre-planning a specific route that you want to really just keep grinding and learning so you can just be the first to grab these chests and just take advantage of the POI. Essentially, competitive Fortnite, man, involves plenty of planning, and the more that you learn about the map itself, the easier it's going to be to make smart decisions like these that's going to give you an upper hand in the later levels of arena. You know, finding a partner to play an arena with, like, I'm mean, telling you right now, it may not be so hard if you have some friends willing to help you out but if you plan on participating in other you know competitions besides solo cups you want to make sure that you have a proper competitive partner and not just somebody who's just in it casually a good arena score gives you guys something to brag about you know on your socials and all that other stuff right but also allows you to cast the eye of other skilled players who want to make a name for themselves essentially your arena score is proof that you are not only capable of winning a match or two but that you can do it so consistently some of the best trios in the world are composed of players that have excellent building, aiming, and decision-making skills. And so they combine these skills to form a good unit that works together and can overcome other teams. And so with that said, guys, do not forget to check out Aim Labs for a fully customizable training experience that's gonna help improve your skills and make you a player worth scouting. But you crush saw me, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, this is your motivation guide, the one and only Keith Allen, and that is gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, because we have a lot of other things that is coming out, man. We're about to really, really get into this thing. And we're definitely gonna have more in the coming days as we dive headfirst into everything Chapter 3 has to offer. And so we're just excited as you are to really just, you know, take it to the next level, right? All right, keep going, keep grinding. I'll see you soon, peace.